Good evening, Jen. It's Marcus. Welcome. Hi there, Marcus. How are you? Oh, good, Jen. Thanks for asking. Yeah, good. Uh, so Costco, um, it's going to be based in Westgate in West Auckland. So that's that new mall that opened about 10 years ago. That that It seemed a bit of a jinxed mall, that one. Is it? Is it... No, no, not yeah. Westgate. So over there, across the road, to, over by North West. So the other part of that development, but it's not in a mall. It's got its own okay. building. Okay. And it's got the parking up, uh, two-level parking. Yeah. And then they'll have the warehouse below. And the servo will be just across the road. You working there? Uh, no, I was. I did work for Costco in Brisbane, their first store uh, warehouse. Yep. Um, and best people to work for. And the they, well, the good thing about Costco is they they try to source their products from the country that they are located in. Yes. Um, and then if they can't source them, they will bring them in. So your fresh produce, etc., is not going to be coming in from overseas in a huge lot. So it's going to be kept, the profits will be kept in New Zealand for obviously growers, etc. Um, so you do get fruit and veggies? Yeah, you get fruit, veggies, uh, fresh meat. They've got a bakery in there. They've got a food court with their hot dog and their soda is their most popular thing. Um, they're huge pizzas that you'll struggle to get into your normal sized oven. Um, what else? They sell uh, all the label clothing, Levi's, Dickies, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and it's, it is a bulk buy, but when they say it, you can go in there and buy your clothes individually, you don't have to go out and buy 10 pairs of Levi's, you can go and buy one pair. And can um, you try them on, or is it that not is that not their jam? There is. They don't have the space for the trying on. Um, only and the re- reason is is they don't have an out the back for. Can you hold this for me? This is a. It, it's what's on the on the floor is what's available. But okay. everything is totally refundable. Um, so if you buy them, shoot through. Buy your, them. Go into the changing into the ladies or women's. Pop them on. If they don't fit, you'll get a refund straight away. Same as your membership. If you buy your membership, go in there and you think, oh, no, not my cup of tea, um, Costco will refund you your membership. It seems to me, you work there, it seems to me that there's fairly good uh, – people like it. It's almost like a cult. that They seem to have a lot of goodwill. Uh, there's a lot of goodwill. I think it comes down to the fact that they don't bully suppliers. Um, they have a good rapport with their suppliers. They okay. are extremely good to their their staff. Um, they're it's like a huge family, and the and they do a lot for like the membership. It, it does offset the costs of what they charge to you on the on the shelves. Um, it, it's not it's like like nothing else. If you haven't been to a Costco, it's honestly worth going into. Get your membership, have a look. If you don't like it, you get your money back. Okay. Are you going to sign up for this one? I've already signed up. <laughs> okay. And how did you do that, Jen? That's what I'm curious to know about. Uh, so at the moment, it, they've just got a temporary office just up by the Colour Centre um, in North West. Um, and it is just going in there to get your membership at this stage. They are working on online membership, so it will go out to the rest of New Zealand, obviously. Um, but obviously they've only just started this week doing the membership, so they're still ironing out things behind the scenes and obviously training staff, et cetera. So and how long, did, how, long did you, how long did you queue for for your membership? I queued for, uh, I was literally there for probably six minutes. I do believe that the lines are getting bigger now. Okay. Um, the reason people are going in there early is when they open, it will be pretty nutty, um, and if you get in to get your membership kind of now, you're not going to have, you can go straight in and shop and you're not going to have to worry about. Uh, so when it opens, the, people will be going there to sign up, but you'll be good to go. You're just in with your card, get your yeah, dickies, get and, your coffin, get your bag of nuts, you're good to go. Yeah, and also the they're aiming to open in August, but the fuel's going to open May. So um, uh, you can start using your Costco membership at the fuel station and your membership will not start till the day Costco actually opens their doors. 
So you're going to get a couple of months free using the petrol. Surprised you're not going to go work there, Jen. You must have a good gig somewhere else, eh? If you're not going back to work there, it sounds like you'd be good for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I probably... No, um, no, I'm not going to comment. <laughs> nice to hear from you, Jen. So, look, I always like a topic that I'm passionate about, and I don't look, I mean, flip, I don't know about Costco's or not, but 